Welcome back learners. In this uh, video lesson we are going to look at another fraction called an eighth written as one over eight or one out of eight. Now this is uh, mathematical activities for grade three and I am teacher Evans. Now in the previous lessons we looked at a half whereby we took a whole object and cut it into two equal parts like that and each part became a half of the whole. Then we proceeded to cut further into four equal parts and each part we called it a quarter written as one out of four. So each of these is a quarter of the whole. Each of these is a quarter of the whole. Now we are going to proceed to another fraction which we are calling the eighth. An eighth is when you cut into eight equal parts. So we're going to try and cut our square, which was so far we've cut first into two equal parts to get a half. Then we cut into four equal parts to get a quarter. Now what you're going to do is to cut this into eight equal parts and uh, we get an eighth. So what I'll do is um, I have the center lines for the for the half and uh, and the quarter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and put the center lines for the eighth so that we can be able to cut into eight equal parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of the quarters and mark the center lines. So just try to visualize the whole object. So what now I'm doing is trying to cut again equally each of my quarter into more equal parts. Okay. So I hope you can visualize that. You can actually observe what I'm doing. I have a fruit. This could be a fruit. It could be anything. And what I'm trying to do is to make sure that I end up with eight equal pieces. So far I have four equal pieces. Now I need to cut further so that I end up with Eight, eight equal sections. Again, this could be a cake, this could be a fruit, and uh, what you're saying is you have maybe one cake and you have four pupils and you want each of them to get an equal share. So that means you have to cut equally. So now I'm going to cut along the center line and see if all my pieces are going to, to be equal. So if they are all equal, if you have one, an object uh, which you cut equally into eight equal items, each becomes an eighth of the original item. Each is an eighth of the entire object. And maybe you are sharing a fruit among just four, eight peoples, and you have only one fruit. Now let's see our pieces. Let's see if they can all, if we line them up, let's see if all of them are equal. Okay? So we are lining them up, all the pieces all the eight of them and see if actually they are all equal okay so those are eight pieces and as you can see to a very large extent they are all equal okay of course the accuracy is not 100 percent because um, maybe i didn't measure very accurately but 
the idea is you will end up with four, eight equal parts and you can count them, this is one, two, let's count as we write, so this is one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have equal, eight equal parts. We, we started with a square, we cut it into two equal parts, which gave us a half. Then we proceeded to cut into four equal parts, which gave us a quarter. Now we have eight parts. Now each of these, each of these is an eighth. Okay? Written as one over eight. That's an eighth. And in words, you write it as eighth. You just write eight, but you add a, a H at the end. So that is an eighth. Different from eight. Eight is just eight without anything. But an eighth is when it's a fraction. An eighth is a fraction whereby it's, out, it's one out of eight sections of a whole item. You can try putting back this and uh, eventually you will end up with the whole item. So maybe what you do first is you put, uh, you can put back quarter, you can put back two two together. Uh, once you have the two two which is a quarter, you join the two, you get a half. Okay, you join another two, that's a quarter. Then you join another two. And there you have it. So if you are to do this very carefully and you maybe use a masking tape or silo tape, you can join everything together and you will end up with your square back. So that's an eighth. Basically what you've done is cut an object into eight equal parts. So we turn into our textbook, uh, page 43. So you have there a circle. And this circle is cut into eight equal parts. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? The shaded part is an eighth. So only one section is shaded. And that gives you an eighth. So let's proceed to the next page. We have there page 44. And we have an exercise. So we have an exercise right there. So uh, how many equal parts are there? So these ones we just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the equal parts are eight. How many are shaded? So the ones which are shaded is only one. And what fraction is shaded? The fraction that is shaded is one out of eight. That is the fraction that is shaded. You proceed to do the, the rest of the other exercises. Uh, number two, you can do that. Let me go to let me go to number four. Number four, which is shaded an eighth, or which is shaded one out of one out of eight of the entire object is shaded. So we start. Basically, you have to count and then look at the shaded sections. So here we count one, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So those are 8, and we can see one section is shaded. So that is correct. And you try the, you check the other one. Number B, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And one is shaded, so that is correct. You go to number C, how many are they? Number C, we have. Um, uh, one, two, three, four. So this one cannot be an eighth because that is four. Remember, for an eighth, you have to have eight sections shaded, uh, eight equal parts. Then one should be shaded. That should give you an eighth. So number C is not an eighth. Now what you do is uh, I leave you to complete the rest of the exercise. Find out which which is shaded and eighth. Okay, so that will be all for this uh, lesson. Uh, remember to do the rest of the work and uh, 
uh, your teacher will be able to look at it and see if you, you did it correctly. So bye for now.